Hi guys, it's uh, John Lee here, I'm covering the, the candidates match between Juanet and Wood. Had a uh, slight delay, uh, I believe Wood's uh, board come uh, an hour later than expected, perhaps probably because time, time zones, uh, we've seen that before this event. So we're about to get underway, uh, the players are actually just waiting for me to bring the stream up. Uh, uh, good luck to both players. Uh, we're going to play games from Blitz Bullets side of the board. Just a reminder to the viewers, Blitz Bullet is still a contender. Final two candidates round. Uh, basically, he's got uh, 18 out of 40 at the moment. He has 30 games to be played within three of the matches, so each match has 10 games. Um, the man he's chasing is myself uh, on uh, 5 out of 7 and uh, finished with uh, 43 out of 70 points. He's 2 out of 4, current 18 out of 40 points. Um, so so this is this is a pretty cool match. Um, so yes, we're, we're up. Here we go. This is match 1. Blitz Bullet looking to win the next 3 matches and also win well. Um, so on paper, I think these two are very evenly matched. Uh, my picking, possibly Blitz Bullet on the day. I think it's a very strong performer on game day. Having that, I've, I've played a few uh, matches against Joanna just then, and he's in fine form. So very hard to pick, but it should be a good match, guys. Okay, so we've had an early Bishop F7 sack here. Joanna for his options. Now this is often an opening where, where White can get a very large central pawn mass. I've, I've played this board. Knight c3. I'm wondering if that's just allowing White to trade off this knight. He plays knight d6 though. And this knight's good to defend f7. Okay, so let's pull it. Pressure. I think he should capture it. This monitor's planned something in f3, five. That's a that's a pawn for the taking. Black is is underdeveloped here. Now this pawn can't be captured because of the check that comes out here. But I like the way Blitz 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 playing. He's actually leaving the track. White's got a big Central mass here, but I can't really develop his bishop. B5, B4, this is resourceful play. Potentially. And then black's, black's, black's quite safe, so white, white hasn't got much out of second. Seven. Okay, Cox, Cox very balanced. Two versus two. Oh, sorry, people are saying Mike is breaking. Uh, you say my mic is cutting out. Does it mean the the sound isn't there at all sometimes, or is it quite crackly? What's the difference? It's quite frustrating. Sorry about this, guys. I'll try to get some feedback, then I can um, then I can. And see what it sounds uh, like. You say my mic is cutting out. Does it mean the, the sound isn't there at all sometimes, or is it quite crackly? What's it? Okay, M maybe it just wasn't close enough to my mouth. Sorry, sorry about that. Um, yeah, please just let me know as the stream goes if there's a sound issue. I, I think, yeah, I think I've got a sound gate on. I think maybe my mouth was, was too far from the mic. Apologies for that. Um, Let's get back to the commentary here. I think I think Juanet has, has now made a little bit of progress in trying to open up the position. I missed how that actually opened up. A3, A5, knight, A3, B7, E5. Ah, okay, E5 got broken, knight, E5, E5. So a few trades came off. So material balanced here, but white with... You know, the pieces are a little bit more organised for white. Um, Black's also still fine. Bishop Pet defending the king. Uh, plenty to play for here. 
Knight at c4, looking to undermine the dark squares. So good sport has given up a pawn, try to make some progress himself. Um, he's playing for tricks uh, here on f4, because knight at e2 will walk the remaining king and queen. Oh, and, and I think Joanna's missed that. There's a tactic on f4 here. I think this will be decisive. So, so I saw that coming, but uh, yes, Blitz, Blitz Bullet is snuck in. Joanna declining this, obviously, because of Knight E2 check uh, and going for Pawn at H6. So, you know, Joanna's still got play on, on the dark squares here. Maybe losing this piece would be entirely critical just yet. Still plenty to play for here. Um, a little bit sticky actually, if rook g8 takes, takes, and bishop at h6. Yeah, you know, if you want it still strong in this position, this is hard to play against. Okay, knight, knight h5, bishop at h6 anyway. I don't know why, why it's better here. This, uh, Juan had impressive. I, I thought I thought f4 was going to fall, but Juan had sort sort of better on pawn at h6. I think uh, there should be a win for White here. Okay, I was thinking pawn at g7, but he's gone directly for queen h6. Oh, and and now he's delayed it. So here, rook at h8 is the threat. Knight on g6 defending, he's capturing it if takes, made in one, if takes, knight at h6 is made in one. Um, oh, he's missed knight at h6. No, this is this is great defense by, by Blitzbord. Juana has not got mate here, but he's got a big advantage on the clock. Wow, Blitzbord. Uh, he's, he's defending h6, he's threatening knight at g3. Juana has to move here, he's got to switch gears. The clock is going to matter. Okay. Lots of checks for Juana still. Uh, black, black is objectively better here, but it's the clock that's going to make the difference. Ah, uh, this is unfortunate. Juana's going to get away with it. Okay, Juana takes the first match, but wow, the defense from Blitz Bullet at the end there. Uh, Maybe he, he spent a little bit too much time in the middle game. Um, but both of these guys have come come with their game face on. This this should be a good match. Okay, B4. This is one of 12 teams' favorites. So, um, you know, Blitz, Blitz Bullet choosing a different opening to the regular. Um, I'd normally expect E4, but perhaps um, E4, E5 is uh, where um, maybe he feels Juana is comfortable and he wants to play... Play something different. So f6 was played very early. I mean, this is a setup here uh, up against this diagonal. Uh, black really trying to put a lot of a lot of pawns on dark squares. So the contest for the dark squares is on. Now with takes takes e4. Capture here in pawn e7. White parting with a bishop here, but now pawn at e7 is a threat. Knight at f5, uh, dress it. There's also a weakness here on e6 to hit knight at f4, potentially. One way. And knight at c7 is better. It's, it's hitting two things. Mind you, this, this rook is not tremendously valuable at this point. So the Blitz Bullet playing very fast this, this game. He's gone 2 minutes 40 uh, versus uh, Juan. He's nearly gone a minute up. Uh, I feel like maybe Juan has a slightly better position here. Oh, he's second queen. But I think it feels as if Blitz Bullet got a bit, a bit burnt from losing that first one on time. I feel like he's picked up his pace. Juan is here looking to play the, the right moves. So Knight, knight F. Knight at f3 is where he's going. Pawn at e2 is a move. I think it's necessary. It's probably not white's preferred move. 
So yeah, Black Black has the two pieces for a queen and a pawn, and, and Joanna just trying to put everything on the king side. The knight at h6 here nearly looks like mate because of this idea, but the, the black king can just sidestep. Okay. So yeah, white, white holding the queen and the heavy rook, but uh, black holding the space at the moment with its lots of minor pieces. Fortunately, f3 is still held by enough pieces. It's Blitzbullet who is up a minute this time. I thought Bishop at f6 was in order here. Uh, I don't feel he should he should bring the rook. This this is now dangerous. Queen at b8, very sharp. Uh, if the rook comes back, knight at e7, king h8. Uh, I think instead of moving rook e8, he should have put a bishop on f6. He had pieces in hand that should be put on the board. Yeah, that that's correct. The capture here. Knight at h6, right. So Blitz Bullet now using a little bit of time to try to find some accurate moves. This is heavily in favour of white now. And it's all because black chose to defend with a piece that was already on the board instead of bringing a new piece on. Okay. Yeah, this, that's, that's correct. Now knight couldn't have captured because of rook at h8. Okay, let's let's probably really hunting the, the optimal moves here. This is a good pawn to pick up. I'm not sure if he's missed yeah, and then and then you should just clear back here and knight at h six is gonna clean things up. This this is I'll be very surprised if Blitzball doesn't take this. So we're looking at going to, to one all uh, very early here. Yeah, no, you don't want to take this because then, uh, well, yeah, either knight is, is a good move, blitz bullet. Uh, you just free up that square, knight at h6. So, good win from blitz bullet there. Uh, I like that he found queen at b8. Okay, he's avoiding e4, e5. I mean, look, this, this is good. This is good uh, presence of mind from blitz bullet. He's, he's gone e4, e5 in the first match. And he got a good position, but it took him a lot more time to maneuver. Um, and e4 to e5, <clears throat> from a theoretical standpoint, is where Joanna's going to be stronger. I think uh, Blitz Bullet's edge will come more from the unfamiliar positions. He's forking here. I think Queen g4 is in order. So that then hits this. It's a bit of tempo. And then Black should probably cover it. No. I would opt for pawn at g6 and then h5 and push on the light squares, but let's let's pull it going for the sharper line. Bishop f6 here, takes takes, rook at g8, rook at f8. Um, it, it's probably fine for black as well. Just checking a few calculations. Um, but yeah, I was saying, you know, presence of mind where during a series you work out. If, if a certain style of opening isn't working for you, you know, rather than trying to play play ideal moves, you play the man. Oh, this is risky. So, yeah, bishop at five, I think he's thinking, but queen takes f3 looks really dangerous. I wonder if Juan, it's uh, now regretting that last move. Yeah, bishop at g4 will still probably hold something to Maybe Maybe bishop at e2 is better. Pawn at e2 is way in. Or maybe he's seeing if he can get away with, get away with bishop at e5. I think it's asking for trouble. Queen, queen takes f3 may not quite mate, but if it doesn't, it's... Yeah, he's decided that it's too dangerous. Pawned e2 is correct here. I, I, I'm not a fan of this sacrifice.
Six bullets holding the cards this match. He's up a minute on, on the clock and he's, he's up on the material as well. Just looking to pick up another piece here. That's that's just sensible play. And and white white's not going to do enough to attack black with now. Uh, I think uh, a misstep by by Joanna. Uh, Aman Pirani one said predictions for the match charm. Uh, well, I mean we've already got a couple of games here, but um, no, my my prediction for the match. Prior to commencing, and it should be close, but I think Blitz Bullet will get there, just because I, I feel that on, on game day he he is he, he's he finds the critical moves on game day. Um, he certainly played a fantastic match against me. Uh, I think I was lucky away lucky to get away with five all. Um, had a uh, bit of a controversial match uh, in the last game uh, where. He had his auto queen setting on, but uh, would have won more easily if uh, he had promoted to a knight instead of promoting to a queen. Um, also, against all you need is left, he was down 4 0, and he had the tenacity to come back and hold that one 5 all. Um, and let's not forget, I mean, there was my inaugural stream, it was. Um, uh, a fight club tournament uh, held by Bitches. Uh, that was actually won by Blitz Bullet. Uh, that was very closely contested between the two of us in an arena. So, you know, there haven't been a huge amount of these big events, but yeah, Knight at F4 wins in two moves. Um, yeah, my, my pick is Blitz Bullet. He's going, he's going ahead 2-1. Um, and, and I'm not expecting it to be a whitewash, though. I, I think it'll be Quite close. And we've got a slight pause here, maybe maybe you should want it a bit of time. Um, just checking in with the with the viewers. Uh, is the sound all right? Has that been performing okay recently? Uh, someone's saying it looks like the video is about a second ahead of the audio. Yeah, I've, I've been having some troubles with the audio recently. Falling behind video. So. Uh, I don't know if it's because my machine is getting older and the sound card on the motherboard is, is getting a bit slower. Um, but as long as you guys can hear me, that's good. So I'm hearing that the sound is, is good. Okay, we're back on. So <clears throat> let's pull it ahead 2 1. And most importantly, he's actually won a match with black. So at this level, the, the advantage with white. I would say is greater than that in, in chess. Now, Juanet also opting for b5, so uh, everyone's trying to play like 12 team at the moment. Uh, this is this is one of 12 team's uh, favorite setups a3, b4, a6, b5. This is interesting, g3. Um, normally, this disposition will just come here, but. Um, let's bullet looking to challenge on this diagonal. So, this, this is new stuff. I wonder if uh, he's just looking for something different to throw his opponent. Oh, look, this is this is creative. Okay, I've I've not seen this idea before. Look, I, I think that that's a good strategy for Blitz Bullet today. Now, Rook H2 is a good move, importantly covering the bishop here. Corner g4 is, is aimed at uh, taking the defender off this knight to pick off of d4. Yeah, so I think Juana will be trying to make make this bishop bishop g2 idea uh, silly if he can. All right, let's bullet ignoring this one, going for that. Considering taking here, I think he could just back off the queen to d1 as well. But uh, Joanna's going to pick up a few pawns. Okay, the only reason why I thought d1 is, is d1 covers the c2 pawn, which is potentially useful later. 
So Juan has got a decision here on whether he should back this bishop off and claim some residual advantage. If he does, he brings it back here. Or if he was going to go for the d4 pawn. But okay, black's up a piece for a pawn. Um, white, white's still got active play. Light squares decides to do. So yeah, blitz bullet with, with the bigger center, some space, some initiative. I think I think he has compensation for that that peace sacrifice. Knight knight takes e six. Very dangerous here. Hitting, it's hitting these three pieces. And now he's got the right pieces in here, pawns and bishops. We we'll want to penetrate these these dark squares. So yeah, it's just it's just the clock. These guys have to be really careful with the clock. It plays a big role. He might have been thinking of, of taking this, but I think it's wise to get rid of this bishop. Uh, blitz bullet with with most of what to play for here. Um, yeah, this this pawn is hanging though. That's 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 Black's play. I think Black should just give up this rook. The d4. Now now he might sting him here. I thought maybe it could proceed without knight at d4. The knight could be useful for. White to play knight at e6. Ah, very resourceful. I'm getting this knight in. And this knight also defends e6 quite nicely. He's got a cash in on e4 at some stage. Can't take this just yet because. No, he can. Uh, this is a good move. Queen c5, knight at d3 check, king moves, knight c5, defends, the knight at e6 4. Tactics would hold there. Pawn at d4, what's the difference if he takes? Are we looking for knight at c2? Yeah, queen, queen c5 would be a, a, a blunder here because of knight at d3. Bishop at b3 covering c2, so if takes, then knight at e6. This, this is sharp. But uh, Joana with the time advantage, 42 on 23. Okay, both of them have to move. It's very open, there's still plenty to play for here, material's still quite balanced. Uh, the time scramble is, is going to count. Um, Blitz bullet ahead 2 1 here. Shuanet needs to make a score. Okay, he's gone for the rook back here, but danger's back. Oh, queen a8. I, I nearly felt queen takes e6 was the one that white wants. This is knight at g6, potentially, or making his pawns useful. I think Juan, it's dangerous here. Yeah, you can't pick it with these guys. They're, they're both so strong. I bet there was probably a mate somewhere there. Oh, it's, it's down to the wire now. The time. The time. Oh, come on. What's... Oh, no. Oh, Blitz Bullet. Looked like he got... Disconnected there. That's what happened there. Either he, he clicked another board or he got disconnected in a time scramble. That's awful. That's awful. Um, yeah. That's not fair. Um, I think I think some connection issue affected Blitz Bullet there in critical stages, but. Juan had also, he probably should have played played for mate instead of for time. I think he had a mate somewhere there. 
once the king got to f3. This looks a little bit like a tilt game because someone's made a, a comment here. This this g5 move is very unusual, um, and I hope it doesn't get to him because the fact of the matter is, like he may have lost the game anyway had he been connected. Um, so, so you don't want to throw good opportunities after bad. But look, he's okay here. I think he'll settle down. Either that, or he's just trying to really throw his opponent off with something like g5. Okay, but let's look to the future here. Maybe, maybe pawn d2 is an opportunity to try to make something happen with bishop f4. Decided to, to give that one up. Oh. Uh, we're, we're at 2 all here. But, um, I really hope uh, Blitzbullet steadies the ship. Look at h8, just threatening pawn at g7. That needs to be addressed. Uh, if pawn at g7, pawn at f6 allows white to make progress, so potentially knight at f5. Yeah, he's agreed with me. But, but black is playing fence and catch up for quite a while. This, this isn't that fun to play. This this is a pawn that can be captured, but Black's got to check if uh, Rook F8 is going to sting. Yeah, yeah, it might be Knight at G8. The trouble is, White will have you know another pawn or another pawn here to grab. So there's still ways that White can get more material. It's ugly when there's a disconnection. What can you do? So, Juana was was in the better position. I actually feel it's it's Juana that more so allowed Blitz Bullet in with an opportunity taking taking uh, too long at the end. He had a he had a much larger time party. Um, Heiser Jack uh, making a comment, uh, Blitz Bullet was all the bad luck this tournament. Yeah, certainly was the case against me with, with the Auto Queen uh, drama, but uh, I, I think actually though, Blitz Bullet was, was quite lucky to get away with a draw against All You Need Is Luft. I think Luft was up 4-1, I think he was even up 5-4 and had a crushing position in the last game. And, um, you know, uh, he just uh, let Blitz pull it in with, with a very slight tactic at the end, and, and that changed the fortunes of, of the match and brought it to 5 all. So I think there was a little bit of fortune there, Blitz pull it. This, this, is, this is looking looking grim. I think I think that's right. He's got to try to make some play. But yeah, he has to block with a rook, and then knight at h7 is going to make. Uh, maybe it's close, yeah. Sorry, I, I saw a different... thought the king could go to f7 for a moment. Okay, Juana now up 3-2. Alright, let, let's see how Blitz Bullet responds to this. Obviously sticking with b4 here. Alright, he's, he's going to put his head down. You can see he's focused. A quick opening I expect here. Um, Blitzboot, uh, you know, he, he plays a nice balance of tactics and positional. If there's pieces to be won, he'll try to find a way to make it happen. I like his setup here. I like White's setup. Black, Black's got this pawn chain, but it actually kind of limits his progress a bit if he can't get pawns. Um, whereas White's a little bit more balanced on light and dark squares. 
I like I like white here actually. This bishop can always reroute back this way. But I feel I feel that black's pieces here were further from the battle. Okay. Juana keen to prove me wrong. Getting this pawn on e3. This may not be necessary. Um Knight at g2 now, picking up this rook. Well, it might might help white though. It's, it's activating this knight. I think knight takes h4 is right, yep. And you may even be able to play king g2, yeah. Because uh, if it captures the queen, knight at f5 is, is mating. Ooh, this is, this is too dangerous. No, no, this is mating. Um, let's pull it. Nice game. Uh, I called it much earlier. That rook's rook's gonna mate on g7 or h6. Uh, that that was that was such a convincing win. But uh, I mean, you, you saw you, I, I referred to that balance of light and dark squares and, and black's pieces being further from the battle, um, and you saw how quickly Blitz Bullet actually made it happen on the board. Um, so three all. We all, you know, let's pull it in steady when we're not seeing uh, the G5 here. So, going with this similar setup, it's been working well for him so far this match. Three all. That that was that was a classy win from from Blitzbullet there. That'll really give him some confidence uh, going into the last four matches. Ooh, okay, early tactic here. But, but look, Black's still safe. The Whites pick up a couple of pawns. Maybe just one pawn. Yeah. Uh, Why not? We'll be trying to prove that that extra pawn hurts. So. Wow, what's going on? Oh, that's that's nasty. Look at E8. He's. I don't like. I don't think Juana liked how he was handled last match because he's really giving it to him. Oh, Bishop, Bishop at C6. Yeah. This is, this is game over. So equally a uh, classy match from Juana, uh, a couple of rapid fire hits. Um, yeah, this is this is made it. If, if the king comes up, we've got queen at b5 check, king d5 mate. I'm gonna try to run this. I mean, he's he's cut off from both sides. This is made in a couple. Oh, okay. Juana to head four three. Okay, we'll see if uh, Juana pulls proves me wrong. I was I was picking Blitz Bullet to win this one. Uh, he still can, but uh, he's got to win all three games from here. Uh, yeah, I, I still I still like I still like this for what. Um, black is fine. Black is fine, but. Yeah, I, th I think he's he's going about it a better way here, he's keeping his pieces closer this way, and, and he's choosing not to castle so early, which makes this not as not as deadly. So this way, you know, Black's basically saying I've got a big center, I'm secure here. Yeah, I'm <laughs> Juana making some very unusual maneuvers. Um, nearly as if he's, he's playing a little bit of cat and mouse and just trying to stay safe and compact where he can't get hit. He's just pinched a pawn here. Um, but I expect Blitz Bullet to play a very fast match. He's got nothing near his king here. These light squares are a potential way in. Might even be considering sacking the queen here. Yep. I'm, I'm picking a couple of the moves today, not all of them, but right, this this will be interesting. I think Blitz Bullet's dangerous from here. The, the thing is, White's King is very safe, and so you can count the material, but basically Black's got a few awkwardly placed pieces. Um, White also has um, some other avenues to obtain more pawns to hit the White Squares. Could have played pawn at d5 as well just to cover this. 
think it's it's warranted to go for something. So get a queen in hand. And look, look, white just gets to trade plenty. Still, black is no closer to the king. Black has to tread carefully here, and uh, you know, in this guillotine time finish with no increments. Yeah, I think Blitzboard's comfortable here. Got a couple queens in hand, got a lot to play for. We'll just pinch off some material, but. Um, yeah, I, I just assessed this and how safe the white king is relative to, to blacks. Should be an easy position for white to play. Okay, it's allowed 92 though. Um, thought it might be worthwhile preserving that. But yeah, like I said, I'm picking some of the moves, not all of the moves. Ah, uh, nice. Queen of d7. Nice. So Blitzboard, still fighting. We're at 4 all, guys. 4 all. Okay. Now, perk set up. <laughs> it's already good. You want to think, he's already think, what, what line am I going to play against this? So... Yeah, Blitz Bullet. Blitz He's got presence of mind here. Switching up openings. I mean, this is a critical game, and knows his opponent's going to expect a6, b5. <coughs> Blitz Bullet won't be afraid to put his king in a little bit of harm to, to pick up some pieces. In fact, he does very well at that. Okay, uh, Fishy Vishy, our, our organizer, has joined us. Okay, we're at four all. Okay, Knight G5. Wow, does that work? Takes pawn h7, knight at f7, takes, 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 takes the queen. Uh, Blitz Bullet's gone into the think tank here because he could do this, but I think that gives the edge to white, so he's probably seeing if he can get away with bishop takes d1. I agree with bishop takes d1, I think that's the way forward. Because after knight d8, uh, white's not immediately attacking, attacking the king, so I think. I think black has opportunities now to attack first. It helps black more than white. Now this can't be captured because knight at g4 is going to be made, so he sidesteps. And maybe blitz bullets seeing if there's some kind of mate with queen at g1. I'm doubtful though, is it's close. But black also doesn't have to take that much risk. There, there are slower ways in. There's Queen of G1, Pawn at F3, Pawn at H3. There's a few options here. But, but Black has to do something aggressive, or else uh, white, white has the opportunity to try to start an attack with a Rook on E8. Even then, uh, I'm not as concerned for Black's safety as I am for White's safety. I think I think Blitz Pullet could make a mistake in, in thinking too too ideally here on what to do and maybe he should just play practically and move forward. So knight at g4 is good. This this is threatening queen of g1 which is now a mating combination. So uh, queen of g1, rook takes, promote again, king takes, uh, pawn at h2 again in regards to king h1 or king f1. Uh, the rook that is captured will, will be able to be placed on g1 for mate. Uh, knight f2 is also another mating combination where it takes queen at g1. King comes up, queen at h4, rook h3, bishop at g3, king one. So queen at g3 uh, required to defend. Okay, one, one minute left. We've, we've got to, we've got to. 
but to start moving here. Um, black's in no immediate danger. Black's biggest danger would be the cop here. I've got to say that. Um, if rook e1, um, queen of g1 is mating, with uh, rook at f1 to finish, I agree with pawn e2. Okay, and he's forced Juana into a desperate, desperate position here. This is just winning for black, though. I, I agree with bishop takes f1. Rook at g1, he's now got the rook and queen in hand. Um, white doesn't have anything uh, immediate. So Blix Bullet looking to take the second last match with black here. That's critical. Okay, white conceding he has to drop the queen. Blitz Bullet probably deciding between taking the queen or f2. Gee, I can't see I can't see white getting in here without a knight. It's too hard. Even if he gets a bishop for g8, pawn f7, king returns to h7. Um, Black's just got all the material. Okay, so, so this is the critical match at 4 all. If you get to 5 4, then uh, you win the right to a draw at the least. And this is this is probably made in one. Queen at h2, knight of knight of two. We'll play bishop f4, but it's hopeless. So Blitz Bullet coming back to 5 4. Um, he's got a draw at the very least. Uh, he has a chance for a win. Sticking with b4, uh, he's got good. He's got a good opening out of this. Uh, I don't think Juan has played the block positions as well as the open ones. He's just going on the flanks here. I think he's aware that the the openings won't be his edge if he goes into e4, e5 lines. So he's just avoided them wisely today. Now this is solid for Black, so that there's nothing nothing wrong with this for Black. But, yeah, I feel I feel that uh, Blitz Bullet is the more confident and the faster player going to this last critical match. He's also got the white pieces. So we'll, we'll see if my uh, prediction was right. I was calling a tight match, but I was uh, calling a win for Blitz Bullet. Um, and uh, he's, he's got a chance here. So pawn at g3. This, this, is, this is not as fun... What? It's not a dark square weakness. A few things for, for white to hold on to here. But I like the pace that Blitz Bullet's moving at. It's not stopping for much. Bishop b5 could be sensible. Alright, this, this is also good. on the back. So yeah, here here's where it's tricky. I mean, it's it's semi-open. His king's not in immediate danger. It's just a little bit displaced. White's got potentially a couple extra pawns to capture. Yeah, this they, they this is just a game to play. Yep, knight h6 is going to risk his king coming in here. So this is interesting because both players will want this. Blitz Bullet will want the material and Juana will want the initiative. Um, so they've agreed to go down this line. And then they have to, to battle that out to see who, who is actually right. I'm favouring Blitz Bullet at this stage. Okay. Pretty cool match now. Oh, I, I thought maybe he should run to c3 though. Oh, maybe not. d4 is three is also also questionable, but but I don't like that he's he's getting he's getting pushed on e2 and f2 now. So this this is just what I was saying. One player wants the material. One player wants the initiative. And they, I was trying to prove who is right. There's, there's pawns accessible to black. It looked kind of ugly, but I think king c3 may have actually been the better path to run to. Run to a2, where the knight and queen both cover the gateway in. 
This way now, White has defensive troubles. Mm, yeah, the, the, the pace of Blitz Bullet has also changed. He's slowed down a bit. Okay, come on. You, you've got to move. I think uh, maybe even Knight C3 to cover E2. Ooh, okay. He's going to try to pick this off. But, but Juana resourcefully defending G3. This isn't pleasant to play. Oh, this, this looks like a, a bit of a... He's trying to distract that rook to get this in. No, oh, don't don't write off Blitz Bullet. He's now trying to get Juana to use up his pawn. So Juana's using the knight. So it's, it's all about this F2 square at the moment. Oh, it's making it hard to hold. He, he may even can he hold with knight F5? No, uh, that's he can just repeat there. No, no, that that. I mean, that's all right for Black. Black's still good, but I think I think he should have just taken and repeated with pawn g3. Okay, but no, he's found mate. He's found mate. Oh, close, close game. Um, we finish at five all. So she wanted to prove that uh, he could make the initiative into something. That that was a, a thrilling close match. Um, five all uh, means Blitzbullet has, has had a draw, uh, which means he, he is no longer uh, within reach of uh, chasing second position. So um, that actually puts puts me into the final. Um, so Juanet uh, um, holding Blitzbullet off to a five all draw there. Uh, let's let's have a look at the standings. Um, look, uh, hats off to both players. Uh, very, very high level of play. Um, so, yes, let's um, let's have a look at the, the standings here. Um, I'll just make sure that they're, they're showing up on the screen at the moment. But we've got uh, Blitz Bullet now on two and a half out of five. He moved to Juana will move to two out of six. Um, so uh, that puts... Uh, Myself and 12 team in positions one and two, so there's still a few matches to go, but but the top two positions have been determined. Um, congratulations to 12 team for actually winning the event with uh, a round or a match still in hand to play. Uh, we've got Chase for fourth place uh, is is nearly determined, I think. So so Hopper Wesson's already finished on four and a half out of seven. He had a fantastic back run. He he started with half out of three. Dropped the match against myself and 12 team, eventual first and second place uh, winners. But then he won his last four out of four matches to come home four and a half out of seven. So Master Tan, if he books a win, he's on four out of seven. That will put him out of reach of Shumanit. Uh, but Blitz Bullet, Blitz Bullet can still make four and a half. Uh, so there's still there's still a, a contest for fourth place. Um, the the prizes I believe are. Uh, I think it's 100 for first and uh, 50 for second. Yes, 30 for third and uh, 20 for fourth. So, um, yes, yeah, definitely still a contest for third and fourth here. Uh, but, um, let me just get the screen back. I think it's, it's yeah, between Opel Wesson and Blitz Bullet. Let's bullets now got 23 out of out of 50. So yeah, he'd still have to win well to also pip Opel Wesson with a tie break at four and a half. Uh, but yeah, look, uh, that that was a great match. Um, yeah, I'm, I gotta say I'm happy happy to get through uh, to the final. Uh, I've had a a lot of tough matches myself and the candidates um, had a break for a while uh, just because the section has, has reduced. Um, I've got a question from Legion Destroy saying, um, 
John Lee Crazy House, have you set up a dual commentary with Yasser? Uh, no, I've not yet set that up. Uh, that's a possibility. Um, for those of you on the channel, you may have seen I played some matches against uh, Yasser Zero One, which has been phenomenal fun. Uh, it's been an honor and a privilege to uh, take on one of the chess legends of the world. A bit embarrassed that I didn't know some of his most notable achievements going into the first stream. Uh, he informed me better on the second stream. Um, so Yasser Siruan has defeated the likes of Kasparov and Karpov, um, Tal, Spassky, Smyslov, um, some of the other legends in the game. Um, so when, when they were at their prime, you know, he was also at his prime and he was taking them on. So, yeah, uh, questions come from Aman uh, Pirani. Um, is the 60 game match going to be in one day, John Lee? Um, so also, when do you think the World Championship match will occur? Uh, no, I, I think we'll probably play three flights of 20 matches. That's what was said in the rules. I don't know if that's played on consecutive days or consecutive weeks. Um, I'm still quite time for myself as work, so um, yeah, it may even be uh, three lots of 20 games and um, maybe we get some time in between and you always get uh, a bit more suspense. So... Uh, yeah, Legion destroys us. Who's the toughest opponent on Blitz Crazy House? Twelve Teen or Yasser? Um, are both both very challenging and for very different reasons. Um, we've got uh, Twelve Teen, who is just a, a tactical, attacking, uh, aggression, tenacity kind of specialist. Uh, he, he's just got all the guns that make it very difficult to play. Um, he makes you play a lot of errors. He's very good at ramping up the pressure. Yasser, on the other hand, very solid, very strategic. Um, because he's come from chess, uh, might not follow some of the conventional ideas we've seen across most crazy house players. Uh, so there's there's a bit of creativity there. I think he, he plays for some initiative that's quite prospective, and, and that can also make you play in the areas of errors. Um, honestly, I don't think I've played enough matches against Yasser yet to really feel who who is a tougher. But but uh, I'd say, uh, you know, based off current history, twelve teen has been my uh, the biggest uh, toughest opponent uh, in recent times. And uh, so Legion's now asking, yeah, but what if it's three plus five uh, against twelve teen? Yeah, I think. I think the time might might help me a little more against 12 team. Uh, there's certainly a lot he brings with the, um, pressure on the clock and, and playing, forcing you to find accurate moves in, in a short space of time. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, he still plays very good moves anyway, so I'm not saying that 12 team just, you know, it's not like time is the only element of his game. He's, he's got a lot going for him. It's just that squeeze a little bit more um, with those pressure situations. Um, okay, so look, um, I'll wrap it off there. There's there's three games left to go. Uh, I think it's Juanet versus Ecaf. I think there's Master Tan versus Blitzbullet and 12 Team versus Blitzbullet. I think it would be nice to wrap off all the candidates' matches before we get into the final. Um, it just gives respect to, to the level that all these matches have been played with. You can see the, the quality uh, played today. Okay, so look, I'll close it off there. Uh, hope you're all having a great weekend. Uh, we've got a public holiday here in Australia, so I'm going to go and enjoy the rest of that. It's 6.53am. Uh, I'm going to sign off. I'll, I'll post this to YouTube as well if you didn't catch it live. So take care. Uh, we'll see you next time.